Did you know that some of the most powerful systems on Earth, banks, airlines, nuclear power plants, and even government networks, still run on code written over half a century ago? Lines of logic crafted by minds that no longer walk this Earth. Yet their work continues to move our money, guide our planes, and power our world. This is the story of the code that lives forever. In the 1960s, long before smartphones or Wi-Fi, programmers wrote software for giant mainframe computers using a language called COBOL. It was built for business, for reliability, to handle billions of transactions flawlessly long before the internet existed. Decade after decade, the systems it powered grew, from payrolls to credit cards, from air traffic control to national defense. And today, astonishingly, over 200 billion lines of COBOL are still running quietly beneath modern software. But there's a problem no one likes to talk about. The people who wrote that code are mostly gone, and the ones who can still read it are retiring faster than they can be replaced. Some companies now rely on systems so old that no one alive truly understands them. When something breaks, engineers often have to reverse engineer ancient logic written in syntax that modern languages can't even replicate. Sometimes they don't touch the code at all, because one wrong change could collapse everything. During the pandemic in 2020, a U.S. state's unemployment system crashed under demand. It was running on COBOL. Officials had to search for retired programmers, people in their 60s and 70s, just to bring it back online. Imagine relying on someone's forgotten notebook from the 1960s to restore an entire economy. Even the airplanes flying over your head still use software written decades ago, patched, layered, updated, but never replaced. Replacing them would cost billions, and the risk of failure could be catastrophic. And this problem runs deeper than business systems. In the United States, the Government Accountability Office confirmed in 2016 that parts of the nuclear command and control system we're still using 1970s IBM Series 1 computers, running assembly code stored on 8-inch floppy disks. And it's not just COBOL. Some Fortran routines written in the 1970s still drive scientific research and satellite missions. Across the world, nuclear facilities and research laboratories continue to rely on Fortran, a language from the 1950s, to operate monitoring and safety software that engineers are too afraid to rewrite. Even today, U.S. government agencies such as the IRS and the Social Security Administration process billions of records using COBOL systems, first built in the 1960s. These are the invisible foundations of our civilization. Old code still quietly holding up the modern world. We often talk about AI as the next great leap, machines writing their own code, evolving logic beyond human control. But here's the irony. Even AI runs on frameworks built upon older programming languages. The newest intelligence on Earth is still standing on ancient digital bones. Every tap, every message, every click you make travels through layers of invisible legacy, a living fossil of logic still pulsing at the heart of civilization. And maybe that's the paradox of progress. We keep chasing the future, yet our modern world is powered by the ghosts of our own history. So, next time you check your balance, stream a video, or board a plane, remember, somewhere deep inside a humming server room, ancient code is still alive, faithfully executing its task just as it was told to do, long before you were born.